Um, the, the modern cooperative movement was founded in Rochdale in uh, 1844 and the, the movement really played a big role in um, not only supporting the people of Rochdale during the cotton famine but also um, in its kind of moral um, stand against slavery. It, um, the cult was one of several um, um, factors in, in the people of Rochdale really being against slavery and, and supporting the non state during the Civil War. Um, it's, the principles of cooperation really mirror in, in many ways the, the principles of fair trade as well as a modern movement and the, the co-op, um, the United Cooperatives have been at the forefront of promoting fair trade in this country over the last few years. Um, so that we thought that was an important aspect really of the exhibition, we look at, looking at the, the modern context of slavery and how people now, ordinary people, can through their uh, consumer powers can um, have an impact on, on, on on um, forced labour and, and slavery as it exists in the modern world today. So we've, we've got objects here, just consumable objects from, from the supermarket, from co op, from co op supermarket with fair trade um, initiatives. Um, and I think, you know, we, we sort of realised that when we put the exhibition together that, that we needed to, to bring it into the modern, give it a modern perspective for it in. And for us, this is really one of the few ways that people these days can uh, can make a decision to, to influence how, how the things that they buy affects other people and the world that they live in.